Dancing with Maya Bialik and Megan Good, give it up! So, I know that you said you weren't into cars because it's like a representation of you, like when you were younger. So do you still get into cars? Are you into cars yeah, now? Yeah, I, I finally went electric. Um, okay. For the environment and lifestyle, yeah. but I'm a stick shift driver, so I, I miss it. Then going electric was hard. It was yeah. hard. <laughs> it was like, yeah. It was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, are you into cars at all? I'm into trucks. Oh, I have a truck. Yeah, I just, I'm in a truck. Yeah, it's a little bit of a Napoleon complex, but I feel safe. <laughs> but no, that's know. mine, because I'm yeah. five, three and a half, but I love climbing in it. Same. I feel like I'm in a transformer. I'm safe. Same. Yeah, exactly. me too, me too. Well, my next guest absolutely loves cars. Over the years, she tried to join some lowrider clubs, but never felt welcome in a largely man's environment. So she did something about it. She got her family and friends together and started her very own female club from Dwayne Nass Car Club. Let's welcome Angel. Did I say it right, Duenas? Yes, Duenas. Duenas. Okay, I want to make sure I said it right. Okay, so it's great to meet you. Meet Maya, meet Megan. Hi. Hi. Um, we all like cars yeah. or trucks. Um, so tell us how you fell in love with cars and like low, low riding. Like, how did that, when did that happen? Um, when I Were was you listening to music? Yeah, of and you course. Were like, hey. Music has, you yeah. know, <laughs> has everything to do with it. Um, but, you know, when I was young, my mom was 15 when she had me. Oh. Uh, she was an honor roll student. She received a Monte Carlo, a 1977 Monte Carlo for her quinceanera. Wow. A few months later, I was born. Uh, by the time she was 18, she was divorced and had three children. So wow. we didn't have a lot of money. We would go cruising in her Monte Carlo. So that's what we all did together, me, my brother, my sister, and my mom. And it was just a feeling like no other, all of us being together, you know, in her yeah. lowrider. So um, oh, I love that. Yeah. That's so nostalgic. I loved, man, that was my, where I spent all my money on gas, just oh. driving around, listening to music. At least it was a lot cheaper then. Now yeah. it's, you know, like Girl. $5. Yeah, I remember it was like 89 cents. <laughs> oh my God. I yeah. got, and living here in LA, it's like, <laughs> every time you go past, like that's electric is the way to go. Um, it's very expensive. Um, I sound so old. <laughs> I know. Gas prices. Like she's her age. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. It's okay. I'm okay with it. Well, before we talk about the club, tell us about your car right now. Is that your car right now? Whose car is that? Yeah, that's my car. Oh my God. Baby. You should name that Prince. <laughs> That's I'm perfect. like, you should name that car Prince while we're on the subject. Exactly. I'm just saying. Or Purple Haze, Jimi Hendrix. Just go purple something. Or purple it's Rain. Purple Rain. Yeah. What did you do? You name your cars? Yes. Okay. That's actually Saturday Love. Saturday, Saturday Love. Love. Yes. Okay. Saturday Love a little more special now. The other weekdays. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> I like. It. Yeah. For Saturdays. That's Saturday you know what I mean? Love. So. It gets crazy. For real. Um, I love it. I love it. So, um, so tell us about this car. Like, why? Why was that car so special to you? Why did you want that one? Well, um, when I first. Got the car 18 years ago. It was kind of ugly. I got it from another female owner. Uh, I always wanted a 65 Chevy Impala, so it was kind of ugly, cameo beige, mm. um, originals. I turned it into my own. You know, I put my touch on it, painted it purple. That's my so favorite cool. color is purple. My mom's favorite color is purple. She loved Prince. Color for royalty. So, yeah, and uh, unfortunately, a few years ago, I was in an accident. Oh. Um, my car was hit when I was driving. Oh no! Yeah, so I ended up selling the car to my brother, and I'm having a conversation with my mom, um, and talking to my mom about it because my mom obviously loved cars, and that's where I got it from. So she's like, "What are you gonna get next, Miha?" And I'm like, "You know, I want a 1963 Impala." And my mom, she was like, "No, those are ugly. You cannot get one." <laughs> moms, I yes. love moms. <laughs> and it ended up actually being our last conversation. She oh. ended up, yeah, on life support that night, and ended up passing away. What? Like that day? Yes. Oh my evening. gosh, I'm so Literally. sorry. Yeah, so um, so then after that, you know, I just, I felt the connection with the car cruising with my mom. My mom loved the car. My mom loved the purple. I bought it back from my brother. Oh. I rebuilt the car. Um, I got it painted and stuff, and I'm still in the process. I just got a mural done on my mom oh. so that my mom will always be with me. So She's um, always been oh, oh, with my heart. Just got it completed. So beautiful. Um, do y'all have anything in your life, you know, that kind of memorializes something that you love so deeply? That's a tough act to follow, Kelly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're like, so I bought Like, this. I have pillows with my cat's face on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just <laughs> <laughs> So wait, so tell us why you created the club. Is it because you couldn't find other females, right? You didn't feel like you fit in? Um, yeah, I had previously been in other car clubs where it was mainly men, and yeah. I feel like I kind of didn't fit in. You know, I was treated a little bit differently and stuff, and they mm -hmm. felt like, you know, I've heard a lot, women in low riding belong in the passenger seat. 
So. Oh. oh, and the kitchen, we get it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I mean? So I kind of just felt like I had always thought about it, starting an all-female car club, and then I figured, you know what, let's do it. All my friends had cars, love low riding, um, you know, my family, so got everybody together <laughs> hey. and we started wearing yes. I love it! Hey. Hey. When they see y'all just, when they see the whole club just cruising. How do oh, they? Oh, man, you see all these beautiful cars and then you see all these women. Ty typically, it's a man driving the car. Yeah. So they always have to take a double take, like, really? And then they're like, is that your car? And yeah. I'm like, yep, this is all me, you know? So <laughs> I love it. Pretty amazing. Um, so in addition to the riding um, and working on cars together, uh, Duane also gives back to the community, which I think is cool. Y'all get together and do stuff for the community. Yeah, we do. We do a toy drive. We do an annual breast cancer raffle where we get the proceeds and we donate them uh, for breast cancer research. Yeah. Throughout the year, we're always helping with backpack drives, um, helping the homeless. So we do a lot more than just low riding. Yeah. We do what we can in our community. That's so cool. Yeah, thank you. I love this powerful group of, of women. So what does Duenas mean? So Duenas means uh, the female owner in Spanish. Okay, I didn't know that. I was yeah. like, I didn't learn that one on Duolingo like, yet. Yeah, oh. <laughs> we wanted to make sure people knew they were our cars, not our daddies, our boyfriends, ours, and you know, it's inspirational yeah. for women everywhere. I love that. Thank now you. I know Duenas. Our next guest is an early member of the club and says she didn't just get into it for herself, uh, but to be a good role model for her daughter, which is so awesome. Please welcome Christina. <laughs> more about like why you got into the club? So initially I didn't have my own car, so um, I worked hard, uh, found the car that I wanted, it's my 86 uh, Cutlass. Yeah. It's baby blue, it's my favorite color. Baby blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. And so I'm in the club also because I look up to my cousin Angel. You know, she's a very strong role model and she's independent. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, hey. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's why I joined too, because I want my daughter to look at me and say, you know, wow, she's doing a good thing, it's positive, and be passionate about something that she's into. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the fact that y'all do work for, oh my God, I want to hug her so hard. Um, and the, the, the fact that y'all do community work too, just showing your kids, like, that's important as a mother right. for me too, like right. just to show them how to give back, you know, exactly. while you have this great female empowerment vibe going. Um, so Angel, you envision a younger component to the club, right? Yeah, when I was younger uh, in low riding and stuff, I wanted something kind of of my own. So I figured our daughters are so much into it, why not give them something? So we want to start a bike club for our daughters so that they can have pride and ownership and see that they can do it as well. Oh, yeah. they be looking like Tomb Raider. Oh. <laughs> I, always, I was like, this is so awesome! It's so cute. Oh my gosh, they should start a band. Okay, <laughs> oh. that is so great. Just call them the Lowriders. Okay, um, so Mime, you have two boys. Um, are there any projects that you've worked on together that have brought you closer? Um, organizing the closet in the garage on my birthday. Yeah, that is great. Brought us real close together. <laughs> You're like, it's my birthday, keep doing it. <laughs> you said you'd help. <laughs> All right, I think what Angel and Christine are doing is so friggin' cool and empowering, uh, but I'm not the only one. In fact, our official show mechanic was very impressed as well. He wanted to come out and say hi, so are you cool with that? Yeah, Okay, of okay, come on out! <laughs> I just back there working on Kelly's truck. <laughs> and we, we are doing your truck, you are, by the way. You are doing my truck. We're, we're doing her truck in my garage. <laughs> I was like, that's but true. But Angel, I think this is so great what you're doing because, you know, women don't have enough to do. Now, guys, <laughs> they can work on your car, too. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, taking care of the kids and doing the house. Now I can change your oil and the transmission fluid. We too. can it's do just, it all. It's just fantastic how empowering that is. <laughs> So we have some gifts for you. I brought, Aww. these are snap-on tools and a snap-on toolbox. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Snap-on are the best tools made in America, 100% American made. And look, the drawers are all filled with a little And it's green. Yeah. All kinds of, you got every oh. possible tool. Oh my God. Yeah. And, and, oh my God. Oh, that's so amazing. We'll throw in a Jay Leno garage detailing yeah. kit. You got everything you want here. I like Star Wars, but everything in it. So. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I think it might be fun. I know you guys are car enthusiasts. I'd love to show you my garage if you guys would get a kick yeah. out of it. Yeah. 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 Y
great fun. He, I haven't been there, but we, you've walked me through a tour of it once, on That's and right. I was like, oh my, when he says, for, no, it's not a garage. <laughs> it's an air hanger, like an airplane hanger. It's, it's enormous. You, you, you. Well, it's a big garage. It's, <laughs> it's not, it should not, there should be another word for your garage. It's, it's a guy version of house, a garage with a bed attached. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was impressive. I was like, I want to go with y'all on the tour. Um, well, um, Angel, uh, Snap-on tools are made in America, and you're getting over $5,000 worth of their tools. Yeah, nice job, Thank you so much, Jay. Oh, good to see you, uh, doll. So cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm glad you like these products. They work really good. Thank Wait, you, and sir. I also heard that you your new game show, um, You Bet Your Life, it was just picked up for a we second season. It got picked up for a second yeah. season. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much.